time for you, the viewers, to sit in the red chair. Tell us your most interesting anecdote. That's what they're doing. They're going to tell us the most interesting anecdote. Should they bore us, then this lever is used. OK, so who's up first? You can do it if you want. Do you want to do it? OK, so who's up first? Who's up first? Oh, hello. <laughs> Yet. Uh, what's your name? Carol. Carol. Off you go. We were invited, my son and myself, to meet the Queen and the Duke of Edinburgh. Whoa! <laughs> Very good opening, Carol. We weren't expecting it. Okay, go. And my son was blind, and the Queen asked him how much sight he had left, and the Duke of Edinburgh said not a lot, judging by the tie he was wearing. The poor <laughs> Queen Can I just say, you are the first person in the series, I, uh, do, unless you want me to collapse the chair. No, uh, please, can I do a runner? Yeah, do a runner, because that was a fantastic oh, story. Well done, Carol! <laughs> the first person in the series not to get... That was such a good story. Do you think it's true? Yeah. Good old Prince Philip. God love him. <laughs> just thinking for him, every, every time he looks at a £20 note, he thinks, I've had that. <laughs> <laughs> Who's up next? Who's up next? Oh, hello. Hello. Now, you have signed the form, haven't you? I certainly have. <laughs> Sorry, I think she signed a do not resuscitate form. <laughs> it's all right. Oh, lovely. What's your name? Uh, Sandra. Sandra. Yes. All right, Sandra. OK, okay. off you go. Right, this is my experience in the yew forest with a man in a kilt. <laughs> for a walk with my friend Tanita and a, a huge man came along. He was dressed in a kilt and he was carrying a very large stick. <laughs> At least that's what I thought. Did it look like a drafted scooter? It's a... <laughs> and the uh, greetings were exchanged and he went on his way. <laughs> um, into the yew forest we went. Deep in the forest. <laughs> oh, the yew forest! Me, and suddenly, from behind a tree, out this man in the kilt walked. <laughs> he turned round and he had his kilt up. <laughs> I'm quite short-sighted, so it was lost. <laughs> but he wouldn't leave. And I was going nowhere. I was terrified. Is there an end to this story yes, at all? Yes, now. <laughs> It's Jim Maggi. Hello. What's your name, Jim? Maggi. Jim Maggi? Yes. <laughs> Magic man, they call me. OK, Jim Maggi. It sounds like a film with Robin Williams in there. <laughs> go, 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 Jim. Well, it was the first day of school. I was a teacher. I was teaching 12-year-olds 12, 12 and 13-year-olds math. And I was getting ready for school, and I got out of the shower, and I went to get my hairpiece. I wore a hairpiece back then, and I couldn't <laughs> find it. And on the floor was the cat with this hairpiece in his mouth. <laughs> All over the place, and he was. I chased him, I chased him all over the house. I finally got him, but I was too bad, I couldn't wear it again. Oh, oh. I wasn't sure. Personally, uh, I'd have done it when he said math instead of math. <laughs> <laughs> Just using a singular math. All right, yeah. do we have another one? Oh, hello. 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 I'm Craig Poach. <laughs> you could, you could you? It's too early for a Santa I hat. I know. And a novelty tie thing on a T-shirt. Jesus. <laughs> God, it's, yeah, it's the end of a long series. I, my patience <laughs> is very thin. Hello. Hello, my name's oh. Julie. Oh, hello. Hi. <laughs> um, I work for insurance company. <laughs> oh, hello. 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 Uh, <laughs> what's your name? Barbara. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Barbara. OK. Now... Uh, so you understand what happens if the story gets boring? Yes, I do. OK, fine, you've signed forms. Yes. OK, fine. <laughs> That's the main thing. What, 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 what's going to happen? You'll see. <laughs> start, start your story, Barbara. I'm oh, sorry. I'm a huge fan of Caesars, and I'm trying to become Thank the Dagnum Dog Whisperer, emulating his procedures. I bought a fold-up bike to run the dog like he did, but he folded up while I was riding it. <laughs> <laughs> Tweet about it. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> That's what happened. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> OK. Uh, 
<laughs> one more, one more. <laughs> Hello. Hello. Hi. Hi. What's your name? Shola. Shola? Yes. OK, Shola. It's a tough crowd. <laughs> Barbara and her collapsing bike didn't do it. <laughs> the challenge is yours. Away you go. Well, when I was younger, my family managed to convince me that I was a member of the English royal family. Do we try for one more? Oh, one more. Okay, here we go. Hello. Hi, Graham. Oh, you're not confident about your story, are you? Because look at you, you're, ha you're holding onto the handle to that chair like. <laughs> I'm going to be gone in a second. All right, sorry, did I hear your name? It's Vidula. Vidula, you know, I didn't remember that, I, hearing that. Vidula. OK, Vidula, off you go. So it's a Saturday night, me and my boyfriend at home having a few drinks, bit of a loose end, and he says, let's go to a lap dancing bar. And I'm like, OK, then. <laughs> so we go down to our local lap dancing bar, have sorry, a Sorry, sorry, I have to interrupt you. Do you still go out with this man? <laughs> no, no, no. Yeah, I yeah. think that was wise. <laughs> Two girls we fancy, and we get them to do a private dance. We get taken off to the little room. She may survive. Yeah. To the stuff, Graham, getting all close to him, and I'm thinking, hang on a minute, you're naked. That's my boyfriend. So I get up and I take all my clothes off, and then the dancer comes over and goes, uh, "Excuse me, love, could you put all your clothes back on? And could you please leave?" When security threw you out, was it like this? <laughs> Hello, Graham. Hello. <gasps> I'm frightened by this man. Don't you find him? I know Jason. that man. No. Do you seriously know? I know that man. <laughs> Are you serious? Do you know Dawn? I know Dawn French. Oh my gosh! <laughs> Is she on the list of 47 people he kissed? <laughs> <laughs> Did you work in the Salcombe Hotel? <laughs> <laughs> that is the Duke of Cornwall. <laughs> it is. I know him as the Duke of Cornwall. But anyway, yes. What story are you going to tell? <laughs> okay, Graham. This story is about the gorgeous Dawn French. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> oh, <Eva. laughs> I worked on a show with Dawn three years ago called Smaller with Dawn and Alison Moyer. I was one of the stage managers. <laughs> During the first part of the show, Dawn had to take her bra off under her jumper. <laughs> During rehearsals, we had bras made for Miss French. And when they arrived at the rehearsal room, myself and the other stage manager unpacked them and thought, maybe we should try them on just in case. <laughs> and we did, but not in the usual way. We put our heads in each cup. <laughs> Twice. Yeah, yeah. Ahead on each side. Very good. Yeah. So we've won. One more, one more. We're hoping for a good one. Go, 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 go. Come on, quick, quick, quick. We've got to go soon. Hello. Hello. Hi. 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 <laughs> uh, what's your name? Alison. Alison? Yeah. Okay, off you go, Alison. Um, I was in Cork this summer. I was at a Rod Stewart right, concert. Okay. Oh. Uh, oh, we're both in this story. Yeah, it's Cork. <laughs> She's in Cork, where I'm from, Cork in Ireland, and you were giving a concert. Oh, it was brilliant. Oh, Great you night. remember Alison? Yeah. Yes. Oh, right down the front. Yeah. Were you right down the front? <laughs> I was right down the front. That's what I said. You see? <laughs> I was wearing a um, cowboy hat. Do you remember? Do you remember? Oh, we, like it was yesterday. Yeah. <laughs> I put the cowboy hat on stage. Rod put it on, and he wore it um, for the rest of that concert. He then took it with him, um, and he wore it for every other concert that he did for the rest of that tour. I kept watching it on YouTube everywhere. It went all that's over right. the world. Yeah, that's right. I did. Do yeah. you remember that? Are yeah, you, I did. Yeah. Yeah. Are you serious? It's a good cowboy. I look pretty good in it, so I kept it. Thanks, darling. Thank you very much. And Alison, is the point of the story is you want it back? I've had to tell her I've still got it. It's in the wardrobe, you know, tour case, and uh, I'm not giving it back. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Yes, come so this, on. This is, their most, <laughs> this is the most interesting story in their lives. And uh, if we get bored, that oh, happens. OK. OK. Now, uh, this week, I understand our raconteurs, our Shanna Keys, that's Irish for storyteller, nice. uh, are joining us <laughs> in the medium of time and relative dimensions in space. Who is first? <laughs> Watch this. <gasps> Look! Oh! Oh! 
Why, hello. 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 There's a waistcoat on the show, yes. ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> uh, what's your name? Kate. Kate. OK. Take it away, Kate. I was trimming my pubes, and then... Let's just sit down. <laughs> Kate, we did not expect those words to come out of your mouth. <laughs> This is, I think this is number six well, in the she, series. Well, she, That's well, the best start of a story yes. so far. <laughs> I was trimming my pubes when... When there was a knock at the door. A knock at the door! There's a plot, ladies and gentlemen, a really? plot! <laughs> go, 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 go! So I open the door. Yes? And standing there is Johnny Vegas. <laughs> <laughs> so, he, so he knocked at the door. Why was he at your door? I used to live down the uh, hall from him at university. <gasps> <laughs> what, what's, your, what's your full name? What's I, your full name? At the time, it was Kate Dyson, and I had like a savage ginger crew cut. It was properly bright red. Do you remember her? She was always bothering me pube trimmers. <laughs> <laughs> so go on, go on, go on, go on, go on. So he's knocked on the door. I open the door. Uh, he says, "Can I borrow your scissors?" <laughs> <laughs> And I sort of went, oh, OK. So I, uh, I handed them over. I was a bit wary about it and brushed them off, as I did. Um, <laughs> and he obviously sort of spotted something, cos he said, what, have you been trimming your pubes? <laughs> and I was liar, so I had to say, yes, actually, that's exactly what I've been doing. Um, and then I went into the student union bar about an hour or two later to find that he'd told everybody about it, and it was full of blokes going like that. <laughs> <laughs> What's your name? Fatima. Fatima? Yeah. OK. Um, I've actually been run over... I'm not really proud of it, but I've been run over five times. <laughs> <laughs> now, can I just say, Fatima, an excellent opening... By a car? <laughs> one was by a car, uh, one was by a bicycle, uh, a, a motorcycle, a bus and a uh, sort of... Uh... <laughs> can I ask, was, was it the same person driving each time? Because <laughs> that's attempted murder. <laughs> was an energy-efficient moped as well. Oh. So, yeah. Jeez. Ooh. And now a red chair. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> wow. I love this. That's great. It's good, isn't it? Yeah. Wow, well, I love it in my house. Uh, OK, who's up next? Hello. Oh, hello. hello. Hi. 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 I almost want to pull it now. <laughs> but, uh, <laughs> doing it for naughty reasons. Uh, <laughs> boom! What's your name, nice lady? Um, my name's Elaine. Elaine? Yeah. I'm loving you, Elaine. All right. Uh, OK, off you go. OK, um, I started a job um, when I was younger for a huge, huge electrical company, and I had to do some uh, agendas for a meeting in front of the managing director and all the other directors. And I went off, handed it all out to the directors, sat down in the meeting to take the minutes, looked down at the agenda and realised that the word account, I'd actually missed the O out of the word. <laughs> We, we nearly saw her account. <laughs> Hi, there. Hi, Graham. Hello. Hi. Uh, what's your name? My name's Ruin. Ruin? Yes. OK, Ruin, take it away. Well, I was on a holiday to uh, Israel where I uh, got on a bus trip to go visit some family, and uh, about after four hours, I uh, asked the bus driver to. <laughs> Jeremy, the story needs to get going faster. Uh, who have we got next? Hi. Hello. Hi. <laughs> What's your name? Uh, Rachel. Rachel, lovely. And what do you do? Uh, I'm a dancer. Are you indeed? Yeah. Good. Well, you'd be good at the backflip. <laughs> uh, so, uh, <laughs> what? Uh, start your story. Off you go. Uh, well, my boyfriend's called, well, his nickname's Dickie Danger, and we went to a real <laughs> cool charity event, and uh, he had to auction off some vegetables, and in the end, the, ru the money was rubbish, so they decided to ask him to, like, to offer him money to take his clothes off. In the end, he was ended up with his socks and a cucumber where his man garden was. Hello, 
Tracy. <laughs> Off you go. <laughs> tell it, tell... <laughs> Delight us with your story, Tracy. Right. So one day I was running very late. I didn't have time to put my underwear on. Oh. So I had to dash off to catch <laughs> One more, one more, one more, one more, one more, one more, one more. Okay. Rock and roll, us! 